how to make YouTube thumbnails and get more views on your videos. That's what I'm going to be showing you in today's video, guys, all right? Because I've noticed a lot of you have been commenting on my videos saying I'm giving them inspiration to start making their own videos and start earning a nice income from YouTube. So I'm going to give you some hints and tricks and some tips on how you can get more views just from creating better thumbnails. So don't want to mess around in this video, guys. Let's just jump straight into it. So thumbnails are a huge, huge, huge part of YouTube, okay? You'll always notice people using, you know, clickbaity thumbnails, trying to get you to click on it because that is the whole idea, right? Getting views on YouTube, that's the whole idea. The best way to do that is with having a catchy thumbnail. That's why you see so much clickbait these days because clickbaity thumbnails, you know, with the sound really good, they actually get views. I try to avoid doing like, you know, too much clickbait. I do do it to an extent, okay, just because without doing it, I probably wouldn't get any views whatsoever. But that's why I don't get as much views as some of these other channels because I try to avoid it. Uh, I, try to, I try to avoid doing it too much, you know. I don't want to make it absolutely ridiculous like some of these people do, you know, like make $10,000 in one minute and stuff, something, something stupid like that. All right, but catchy thumbnails, that is the key. So I'm going to quickly show you some tips and tricks on the computer on how you can do this. All right, so I'm going to start off showing you some free methods to make some thumbnails. Okay, the first website that you should use is Canva. Okay, I use a lot of, I make a lot of my thumbnails using Canva just because these thumbnails, sometimes they suit videos uh, more than, you know, these flashy thumbnails. I think these basic ones work better on some kinds of videos. So sometimes I don't use the Photoshop and stuff. I just use this and make some free ones. As you can see here, guys, you probably recognize a load of these different uh these thumbnails that I've used in the past. So this one right here, let me just show you a few things that I've actually done on this thumbnail, just, just, just to you know, get people's attention. So one big thing that I like to do is just use two contrasting colors, okay? That's very, very obvious. So I've just got black and white, okay? A white background with black text that just really sticks out anyway. You know, it's not very colorful, but it sticks out. You know, the black text, the big, bold black text on a white background, it sticks out. It gets people attention straight away. I've got this blue border around the side, guys. I would always recommend putting like a little border. Okay, that's just a, you can come here and you can use these elements, okay? Let me just give you a little like a rundown of what you can use on the here, okay? So you've got these elements. You can search for all sorts of different shapes and stuff like that. Some of them are free, well, most of them are free, but there is uh, like an upgrade that you can do as well. You can see here, upgrade. I don't use that. I don't think it gives you enough features. Personally, you can upgrade if you want. Me, personally, I, I have no need to. I don't, I don't use it. So again, guys, there's loads of different things you can do and search for whatever you want, like a, like a square or whatever you want, guys. It's all different shapes and loads of different stuff on here. Add text, they've got loads of different fonts and you can even upload your own fonts if you want. Backgrounds, they've got loads of custom backgrounds that you can use, all sorts of stuff. Pretty good website as, for as far as a free website goes. But yeah, guys, so I would recommend just having contrasting colors uh, you can use a lot of colors if you want that gets some people's attention try not to use much text okay as you can see i've only got three words pretty much fifty dollars per day you know not too much text it's big and bold it's noticeable and i've got a big red arrow uh, i don't know why but these red arrows they really get people's attention so use them in your thumbnails whenever you can because they do draw attention if you see a thumbnail like if i took take this this away it just doesn't pop as much, you know, it just doesn't pop as much as with this, this this thing. I don't know why, it just pops more. It gets more attention. And then you can use whatever picture you want, okay? Most of the time I use pictures of myself. Uh, you'll see me take a picture of myself and I'll upload that. But that's usually on the videos that I'm uh, making with one of the thumbnails that I'm making with Photoshop, which I'll show you a little bit later on in the video. But yeah, this is one website you can use. A lot of functionality on this website for a free website. It's absolutely great. This is canva.com. I'll have a link for you in the description down below. Or you can just go straight to canva.com. Another free website is this one right here. I don't know if it's called Photopea or Photop. I've heard people call it all sorts of things. I call it Photopea myself. It just makes more sense. Photop sounds a little bit funny to me, guys. Uh, but yeah, this is basically Photoshop, but it's online on a browser, okay? And it's completely free. It doesn't have quite as much functionality as Photoshop itself and it is a lot slower. I find this quite laggy and it's just quite frustrating to use. I much prefer to use Photoshop, um, but you can use this if you want, all right? So you can just create a new project or you can even load 
Photoshop projects on here. Okay, if you've got a Photoshop project, you can just load it straight onto here. I'm actually gonna give you some free templates in this video to get you started, okay? So you can actually upload them onto here. Let me just show you how you can do that quickly. So in the description down below, I'm gonna have a link for you guys and it's gonna be take you to a Google Drive file where I'm gonna give you these free templates right here, okay? So all you have to do once you go to the Google Drive file, download them and then you can just simply just drag and drop it straight onto Photopea right here. Give it a few seconds and it'll load in and then we can start editing this thumbnail that I'm gonna give you completely for free, okay? So look, a few things that I've got on here. Uh, one thing, again, I've got a high quality image of this guy right here. I've got another red arrow because like I said, they draw attention, they get more views for some reason. I've got some big bold text with a nice black uh, like border around it. I've got a colorful background with a colorful, very colorful border as well. This thumbnail just pops. Uh, this is one of the ones I'm gonna give to you for free, like I said, okay? So a few things that I recommend when you go on here is add a bit more saturation, add a bit more sharpness to the images, whatever you, whatever, whatever thumbnail you make, add saturation just a little bit and a little bit of contrast and a little bit of sharpness. Don't go overboard with those, but add that. That'll get you some more, uh, just some more views to be honest, guys. Okay, it'll, it'll, it'll make the thumbnail pop all that more. And yeah, so this will be, like I said, this will be linked in the description down below for you. It'll be a Google Drive file, you can get these for free. But yeah, this is Photopea. This has nearly all the same amount, same things that Photoshop actually has. Like I said, it's just a little bit more laggy and you'll see if I open up Photoshop right here. So look at the difference, okay? Look, look how black this border is. It's just pure, pure black. Uh, the, the border right here is just like completely smooth. There's a, like a nice white glow around him here. And then if we go back to this, if you compare these two together, uh, there's, a, there's a very, very big difference. That's why I would, I would actually recommend using Photoshop. And I'll show you now that it's not that expensive. So if we go over here to the Adobe website, this is the Creative Cloud Plans and Pricing. Okay, so I'll have a link just that will take you directly here if you're interested in purchasing Photoshop. Uh, I'll have a link for you down below just to get, take you straight to this. Make it easy for you to find. So, uh, photography, the photography plan, $9.99 per month. Okay, $10 per month, you're gonna get Lightroom and Photoshop and 20 gigabytes of cloud storage. Okay, that's only $10 per month. That is very, very cheap. Okay, you, you know, that's, that's barely nothing. You're gonna make that back from your Google, from your YouTube channel anyway, from like Google AdSense and stuff like that. You could easily make this back, all right? It's not expensive at all. These ones, I wouldn't recommend them because you don't really need them, okay? You could use some of them, you know, but I don't, I don't use these. I have this one right here, $9.99 per month because I don't use any of the other apps that these ones include right here, okay? They give you all this stuff. Um, I just don't use it. I just stick to this one. I only use Photoshop, all right? So let me show you on Photoshop a few tips and tricks that you guys can use on here. Okay, like I said, this thumbnail, the one I'm gonna give you completely for free as a template, very, very, it, it pops, yeah, it's colorful, it just pops. I got a nice deep black border around this text, uh, the colorful background, got a high quality image of this man, like I said. And a few things that I would recommend, guys, if, you, if I double click on here, I'll show you the different things that I do to the text and stuff like that just to make it uh, stick out more. So I've got a stroke on you. Look, if I take away the stroke, um, okay, it's, it's not it's not going away right now. Uh, what about, okay, so this drop shadow, okay, so this is, a, this is the drop shadow. If I take that away, look, it just doesn't look anywhere near as good, okay? Gradient overlay, if I take that away, it just doesn't look as nice. There we go, there's the stroke, okay? So I've got a stroke on here, and then I've got this drop shadow just to make that really, really, really big, thick border. But if you take both of these off, it just looks absolutely nowhere as good. It doesn't pop as much at all. So that's what I would recommend, having like a nice, deep, thick, black border around your text. It makes it pop so much more, guys, all right? Uh, again, around the image, I've got this man who's shocked image right here. All I've done here is put a slight shadow behind him just to give it a, some, you know, some depth on the, on the thumbnail. And I've got this glow on here as well, just to make it pop that little bit more. Okay, just a, just a white glow. So that's some tips that I recommend on here. Having glow around it. You can see I've got a glow around the text as well. Having a big red arrow again. 
having lots of color, contrasting colors, having high quality images. Those are all things that you need to make some good, high quality thumbnails that are gonna get you more views. So if you download this, guys, once, you, once you're from that Google F Drive file, you can just edit these however you like, okay? So just click on the layer you wanna edit. So I'm gonna edit the word text with this layer. Just go to the text tool, type here, and you can write whatever you want, okay? Change it to whatever you want, and all right? Then you can edit the size and stuff like that. And this isn't gonna be a Photoshop tutorial, okay? You can, there's plenty of tutorials on YouTube if you are interested in uh, learning more about that, okay? Go onto YouTube, search for Photoshop tutorials. There's plenty of stuff online. You can get really good and make some decent thumbnails very, very quickly. Something else that I like to do if I'm stuck for time, you know, if I'm busy or something like that, I will outsource somebody just to create a very, very quick thumbnail for me because it only costs like a few bucks, guys, all right? So you can use this website. This is fiverr.com. This is where you can find freelancers who will do basically anything for you. I'll have a link for this in the description down below for you guys. So come on to here, search for YouTube thumbnail and look at all the different people that will make thumbnails for you. There's so many on here. This is a very, very popular thing. And look, starting at $5 and they make some very, very popping thumbnails as you can see right here. And all of them. Yeah, start at $5, $5, $5. Some of them are more expensive, you know, they probably got a bit more reviews, a bit more experience. They might make some better thumbnails. But usually, guys, honestly, I go with the $5 ones because they are usually just as good. And uh, yeah, they make some very nice ones. This pops like crazy. It's only $5. So you can use this website if you're feeling lazy to make your own thumbnails. If you're not very creative, these people on here, you know, they've got a lot of reviews, 800 reviews, 1,000 plus. They are experienced. They've made plenty of thumbnails before. They will make some very, very nice ones for you. They've got great creative minds. They will make some fantastic thumbnails that will get you views for sure. And they start very cheap at like $5. Let's just have a click on one and see what types of gigs they offer. So for $5, you'll get one thumbnail. They've got a standard package. Look at that. Four thumbnails for $10. So that's $2.50 per thumbnails. Premium package. 12 thumbnails for only $40, okay? So the more you get, the cheaper it's gonna get. So come out of here, guys. If you're lazy, if you're not creative, you can get other people to make your thumbnails because they're a huge, huge part of YouTube. Trust me, guys, thumbnails are pretty much everything. When it comes to YouTube, thumbnails are super important. So there we go, guys. Those are my hints and tips on how you can get more views just by creating some catchy thumbnails, okay? I've shown you a few free methods, but I would highly recommend investing in something like Photoshop just so you can make your thumbnails that much better, okay? Because there's a big difference between these free methods, these free websites, and actually, actually using Photoshop. There's a huge, huge difference. You can make a lot better thumbnails, as you can see, using Photoshop. So I would highly recommend that. It's not very expensive, and there are ways you can get it for free if you look around on the internet, okay, guys? So you can have a look if you want. But yeah, I hope this video helped you. If you're interested in more videos like this, okay, it's a little bit different to the usual videos that I make. You know, usually I'm showing you ways you can make money online. Uh, but this today, I thought I'd bring you something a little bit different, give you some tips on YouTube, so how you can grow your YouTube channels, get more views just by creating thumbnails. So leave a comment down below if you're interested in more videos just like this, or if you prefer me to stick to the usual make money online type of videos, then comment that down below as well. I'd love to know, I'd love to get your feedback. So guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave a comment, share it with your friends and family, all that good stuff, and I will see you in the next video.